Hello and welcome back to Rift Wizard. How are you doing? You know what I'd like to do is I'd like to do um, a run that I actually know kind of works. And you know, I've been I've been trying to make runs work that I'm not very good at doing. Uh, what I'd like to do is a lightning run. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take lightning bolt. And I know I like lightning bolt. I know sort of how to make lightning bolt work for me. Um, lightning bolt is a really nice level one spell. It works like the beam if you watch that episode. Um, and it's it's cool. I, I like it. But also I know how to make it really good because it's easy. It, it's not very non-complicated. Is this a giant bat? Oh my god. You know, there's nothing more frustrating than missing with a spell because it's only your fault. 100% your fault. You, the viewer, it's your fault. Um, so let's see, can we, is lightning bolt sorcery? It is sorcery. So let's look at like lightning and sorcery. Uh, I guess we could just look at light, uh, lightning for now. So there's mm, thunder strike, deal 24 lightning damage to the target. Um, chain lightning. This is probably what we were, we, what we're gonna want. An arcane bolt of electricity dealing eight damage. Bolt repeatedly arcs to new targets within the cascade range. So that's kind of what we're gonna go for. We're, we want to go for a, a very cascade heavy uh, lightning bolt run. So I guess sorcery is going to work out pretty well for us. So where are we gonna want to go? Goblin Gate or Bat Gate. This is not an ideal set. We could go straight for the gate. Let's go straight for the gate, maybe. Um, let's see what kind of skills we have. Lightning skills, specifically. Whenever you cast a lightning spell, your sp lightning spells and uh, skills... Wait, what? Your lightning spells and your skills gain four damage for six turns. So just all skills? Uh, oh, I see lightning skills specifically. Necro uh, necro necrostatics get plus one lightning damage for each undead ally you control. Interesting. Might be good to know what combinations are worthwhile. Like, you know, now I know that dark and, and lightning work well together. Um, whenever ice or lightning damage is dealt to an enemy unit, create a blizzard or thunder cloud nearby. So storm collar could be kind of fun. But we can't really afford any of these. We could possibly, I mean, I guess if I went and got, <clears throat> sorry, and picked up that one skill point, we could afford, no, we couldn't. We couldn't afford anything. Um, I don't know if this stacks, probably it does not. But I think that we don't actually want to do any skills. I think we probably just want to learn some more spells. So let, let's let learn some chain, light, chain lightning specifically, I think would work, or arc lightning. Enemy lightning arcs to three enemies visible from the target tile. Each arc deals 16 lightning damage to units in a beam. That's tempting. You only get five charges for that though. So I think we, probably just want to take some low level spells remember we need to take specifically uh lightning sorcery because those are the ones that are cheap right now and with our one skill point left maybe we could just like increase our max charges or our range um storm power lightning strike gains plus one storm power radius and stun duration are doubled if the target is inside of a, st a storm cloud interesting Gains three duration. What does lightning strike do? Stun all enemies in a two tile burst around the target. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, range, I'll just increase our max charges on, on lightning bolt, I think. I don't think it's gonna give us that also. We're, we're gonna have to, you know, 
get that from a, a, ma a mana potion. Okay, so we could do a lightning strike. Arcs to new targets within the cascade range. Each arc deals damage to all units along a beam. The bolt can arc up to four tiles and cannot pass through walls. So could we do something like this? Yeah, that, that, that kind of worked, but that was a ex pretty expensive use of that spell. So I cannot get through here, which means I have to go all the way around. That is not okay. Could do um, chain lightning here maybe? That was not what I was hoping for. This should be good though. Yeah, that's that's what you want to see. Kill that goblin. We'll do. We'll we'll keep moving, and then hopefully we can uh, get a nice chain lightning. This this should this is good enough. I guess uh, Thunderstrike is good enough for a gate. How much damage? 24 lightning damage. That's that's pretty good. So we're going to have to mosey on over to that other gate before it summons too many bo bats. Bots, you know? What is this? A TF2? <laughs> Topical, right? Oh my god. Uh, oh, we're out of lightning strike, so we're going to have to do... Thunder strikes. Wish I could roll my R, cause then I could I could do the, the Luigi. So you can stun in a radius, but um, it's only the the impact zone that that gets the actual damage. So we got a bunch of skill points. We could take some more sorceries, maybe. For 10 turns, your spells gain 15 range and do not require a line of sight. Ooh, interesting. Okay, Chain Lightning. Cloud Conductance. Chain, chain Lightning can arc to blizzards and storm clouds. That'd be nice if we could, like, combo... What was that one skill? What are some good sorcery skills? Your sorcery spells gain 2 damage for each frozen or glassified enemy. That doesn't sound very useful, to be honest. Um, specifically, let's look at lightning. Arc lightning. Arcs to three enemies within, uh, visible from the target tile. Each arc deals 16 lightning damage to units in a beam. Okay, I mean, this sounds really good. Death shock. 17 lightning and damage and 17 dark damage to the target. If they are slain, this effect bounces to a random enemy in line of sight up to four tiles away. This sounds really good. Kind of want to take that. Storm burst. A five tile burst of storm energy. Each tile on this burst takes either 21 ice damage or lightning damage. Units dealt ice damage are frozen. Lightning damage are stunned. I want uh, arc lightning. I think that sounds really cool. No, 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 uh, Death Shock, sorry, Death Shock. Okay, we did take a bit of damage, but that's okay. Enhances Arcane spell with damaged enemies gain a non-stacking negative 25 fire, lightning, and ice resist for 10 turns. That sounds pretty good. Do we have any Arcane spells? Sorcery, I guess I can just look here. Sorcery, sorcery, sorcery. No, all of our spells are sorcery. Dark circle, interesting. Enchantment circle. I keep going for enchantment and it keeps not really working for me. But those things, the, we are fighting snakes in this zone, so I, I can deal with that. What are these snake gates? Those are snake gates, okay. So let's do, let's go over here and we're gonna do some thunder strikes against this gate. Do like a thunder shock, or uh, sorry, death shock. That didn't actually kill it. 
I'm surprised. But yeah, it's got 54 health, so yeah, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. There we go. So that's that's how that works. That's quite nice. I just want to use up all of our spells before I use a mana potion. We get a good um, arc here. We could kill off like all of these guys. Yeah, that's how that works. There we go. So we have one death shock left. And we're gonna have to use a potion. So we will. But we have tons of uh, spells now. Like look at our, our lightning bolts are off the chain. Off the off the lightning chain. All right, so um, we just need to, you know, make our way. Unfortunately, this is going to cost a lot of um, spells, but that's okay. Chaos spell. Each enemy unit has a fifty percent chance to go berserk and attack its friends for ten turns. Good, useful in a in a clutch situation where there are like a ridiculous number of enemies. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at enchantments. Enchantment spells specifically. Eye of Lightning could be good. Every three turns deals 15 da lightning damage to a random enemy unit in line of sight. Eye of Rage, inflict Berserk on a random enemy unit in line of sight for two turns. 15 damage or Berserk for two turns. I don't know. Regeneration, Basilisk Armor, whenever an enemy unit targets you with a spell or attack, that unit is petrified for two turns. Uh, each turn, blind all units for one turn. <laughs> blind units have all their spell ranges reduced to one. Demons and undead units are unaffected. Death Chill, deal 11 damage, dark damage to the target each turn for five turns. If the target dies, during this time, deals 11 damage and inflicts frozen for five turns on all enemies within three tiles. It's a lot of things to figure out here. Um, target enemy unit with 40 HP or lower becomes your minion. That could be kind of fun. Flame gate, I know all about. Lightning halo. Deal 15 lightning damage to all units in three uh, three tile ring each turn could be good that does actually combo pretty well and then there's lightning spire but that's not an enchantment all right let's take lightning halo can we learn anything else we could we could take eye of lightning sure let's take as much as we can so conjuration uh troubler shrine Enhances translocation spells. I don't know about translocation spells. These are spells that s basically teleport other people or yourself. Teleport to target tile. It, it could be very useful, actually. Could be in insanely useful, but uh, I don't know. Whenever you cast a spell, summon several troublers near this location. It was cast fr from for seven turns. The number of troublers summoned is equal to the spell's level. This could be cool. I don't know. I, th I feel like uh, fairies might be resistant to lightning. It's the only thing. No, they're not. They're resistant to arcane, though. But all of our stuff is sorcery. So that's that's okay. We could make this work. Let's check out the other ones, though. Ruby Heart. Conjuration spells. Well, conjuration spells could be nice because I'm pretty sure we could summon a, a thundercloud. Let's have a look here. Wait, no, not that. No, not not that. <laughs> Call Archon. Lightning, Holy Conjuration. So we could we could learn car, Call Archon in the next floor. Have attacks which deal fourteen lightning damage to enemies and shield allies. Vanishes after fourteen turns. Three shield. Has a ridiculous amount of health. Kind of nice, actually. Conducta uh, conductance? Wait, no. That, we're only learning Conjuration. Uh, lightning Spire. Summon a Lightning Spire. Are stationary metallic constructs with 25 max HP. 
The spire will zap up to four enemy units up to four tiles away, dealing six lightning damage. We really need to, like, get a skill that will improve our lightning spells. So I'm not sure if any of this is actually useful. I kind of want to try a translocation. Because I could take a cheap, maybe a cheap translocation spell, like Disperse, which is not super cheap, but teleport all units in a three tile radius to a random location. So we would teleport all units away and then replace them with Troublers. And I assume Troublers would be on our side. Um, near this, the location it was cast from for seven turns. The number of Troublers summoned is equal to the spell's level. So, two. Interesting. I don't know. Or just a ruby heart, which honestly would be okay. Conjuration circle. Let's have a look at this zone. This zone's not bad. Let me choose any point in the next world to materialize. For once you enter, you will. There is no way to return. Yeah. Okay. C tiers. This is a pretty easy going zone, to be honest. Conjuration circle, though. What was I looking at for? I I, I think what I was looking at for conjuration was not doing anything with conjuration and just kind of like using this as an easy floor. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm a little bit amused by the idea of taking translocation with troublers but I think we're just gonna do this evil fairy do they have oh they heal allies each turn 50% chance to blink to a random tile all right so we're gonna we're gonna go here uh, and I think we're gonna do a halo oh I see the halo is only around us can we do an eye of lightning anywhere no to a random enemy unit in line of sight. What's the range? Because that could mean the whole floor. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we want to do some arc maybe arc lightnings or let's do like a death shock on a satyr because that'll do some nice chain combo damage well, wait a turn yeah so that that does like passive damage and this is a great floor to do that on because it's uh it, it sees the whole floor so let's do maybe a death shock on this guy Can we, we'll do, let's do a chain lightning on this guy. It's a nice chunk of damage we just did. Let's do another chain lightning. See, that's why I like chain lightning. Cause you can get combos like that. Let's do um, like a death shock. We'll do another chain lightning. Chain lightning is gonna probably, I'm gonna wanna improve chain lightning. Like maybe the the range on it. Um, we'll do like a death shock. Actually, I should start moving towards the gates. Are these guys resistant? Because they seem... Or maybe they just have a lot of health. Um, damage to all units in a three-tile ring each turn. Does this move with me? It does indeed move with me. Uh, let's do, like, uh, maybe a thunderstorm. No, that's a stun. Let's do another death shock. Um, do death shock. 
lightning bolt. I, I have to I have to get to the, one of those gates at least. Okay. Let's do another uh, eye of lightning. That was pretty good. I know I'm pretty low on health, but I have plenty of healing potions. Should be okay. Okay, we'll make our way downtown. Um, I'm just gonna do a death shock on this guy. Okay, that's that's that done. Not bad. Could be better. We need to somehow try and improve our spells, I think. Like uh getting was it sorcery? Getting to a sorcery circle would be really good. Ice circle, nature circle. Enhances nature or dark conjuration spell with summon minion gains a poison damage aura. And 100 poison resist aura deals two poison damage to all enemies within the radius. The radius is equal to the chosen spells level plus one. Okay, so we could get like a really interesting conjuration. Metal mantises are for sure going to be resistant to lightning. There's no doubt about it. Um, nature circle would be okay. Ice circle. I mean, we could get a, we could get an interesting conjuration now, and then improve it. Conjuration, death bolt. Death bolt would be kind of nice. Um, ghost ball. I don't know. Glass orb. So inflicts glassify on enemy units in a three tile area. Lightning spire would be nice. The thing is, is it that it doesn't move. Storm Drake would be good. That's lightning. And then we could give it poison. So that would be kind of cool. Sure, let's do that. We'll give we'll give our, po our, our Drake poison. This would be a really good place over here to summon because we could get rid of two gates right away. I'm not a huge fan of going here first, but that would be where our swamp shrine is. So let's go here first. Let's, we'll play it safe for once. So I'm going to do all of our stuff. I have lightning. Um, oh, interesting. So the storm drake just makes a bunch of lightning storms. So like I say, uh, metallic mantis, 100% resistant. But we do have death shock. Death shock also does dark damage. So that's going to get rid of those guys. We can also stun them. We're gonna do a lightning halo. We're out of death shocks, unfortunately. Yeah, these mantises are going to be a problem. Our drakes are doing a pretty good job. How long do they last, by the way? Oh, forever. Until they die, basically. They have 45 HP as well, so they're, they're actually no joke. Oh, no. Okay, we are gonna have to... You know what? Let's, let's teleport over to the shrine. None of your spells can be improved with, with the shrine. Oh, right, I have to do it with an... Or dark conjuration. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh, uh, that's a real shame. So I can't make use of this at all. Uh, oh, that sucks. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this gate. Actually, let's like stun a bunch of stuff. Let's use Eye of Lightning. Um, and lightning halo, why not? 
Oh, that's why not, because this mantis can charge right through it. Roll the dice to deal 666. You know, let's do that. That was not what we really wanted. I, this uh, this mantis is going to be a real problem. Both of these mantises. Let's do like a thunder strike and stun these guys. Not sure. I'm not sure what to do here. 12 lightning damage and a beam. Can we just like... No, we, we can't hurt this guy at all. I don't honestly know how I was killing him, killing the, them before. We're gonna chug a, a mana potion and I'm gonna summon some storm drakes. And just back up and see what happens. Oh, but we also, we, I guess we have, um, yeah, we have the death um, shock. That's how I was killing them, because we can do dark damage. Oh god, this guy is going to hurt me. Oh, he's only got one one um, health left. Okay, we can kill him. Okay, that was uh, not ideal. Not not ideal. I, I didn't read the, the shrine description properly, so we can't make use of it. And that's a real bummer. Kobold, Bag of Bugs, Kobold, Longbowman, Living Scroll of Fire, uh, Ice Circle, Boon Shrine, Enhances Enchantment Spell with Self-Targeted Spells Only. Whenever you cast a spell, a random ally also casts it. Oh, that could be cool. Um, that could be really good, actually. I it, Assuming I can cast it, for instance, on like, if I could put that on like, um, lightning halo or eye of lightning because then well lightning halo would be probably pretty good because then it, then all of my storm drakes would have lightning halo and that is an enhancement or enchantment sorry self targeted spells only when you cast a spell a random ally also casts it Okay, so it is a random ally, so it's not uh, it's not as straightforward. It's not like all al all allies get it. Um. Okay, okay, we could get this right away. I don't think I want to though. I think that these guys all have um, fire range. Oh, three range three. Oh, that's a real bummer. These glass golems also have resistant to lightning. So though, that's a real bummer. Um, are there glass? There's only gnome gates and fire gates. Fortunately, there's no glass golem gates. That would be horrible. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go here. It's not ideal. Um, we're going to summon a, a drake just to kind of get in the way. And then I'm going to cast Death Shock a number of times on this golem. Actually, that doesn't seem to do anything, huh? And 17 dark damage. Why is that not doing any damage? For 10 turns, your spells gain 15 range and do not require a line of sight. Let's let's do actually you know what let's do chaos spell. Um, I'm gonna need to heal. Actually, you know what what I really should do is do a chain lightning. Oh no, I died! I really didn't expect to die on the next turn. Damn it! I thought I had at least one turn before I could like use a healing potion. I would have used the healing potion if I knew I was gonna de be dead. Kind of wish the game would let you know like. If you don't move, I guess it doesn't, you can't do that because you have no idea what I'm going to do, right? What I could do could still result in death. Hello, child. Um, well, that's a real bummer. That was actually starting to turn into something interesting. I, I re really wish I had a better idea of how to plan in this game. But um, I am, like, I do really like the lightning build. I would like to um, learn some different builds. Um, but you know, we'll see.
maybe uh, maybe I'll get some interesting uh, suggestions in the comments for for builds. We can see uh, I could see how like how to strategize in this game. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.